Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the readable question find k pairs with smallest sum. So this problem involves finding k pairs with the smallest sum from two given arrays, numbers 1 and numbers 2. So each pair consists of one element from numbers 1 and one element from numbers 2. The goal is to find the k pairs with the smallest sum among all possible combinations. So let's see the example. So you are given 1, 7, 11 and 2, 4, 6 and k equals 3. So we have to find the three pairs with the smallest sum among all possible combinations. And the output is 1, 2 and 1, 4, 1, 6. So and uh, there is uh, one important constraint. So numbers 1 and numbers 2 also are sorted in ascending order. Okay, so let me explain with this example. So 1, 7, 11. Uh, this is uh, numbers 1 and 2, 4, 6. And then this is numbers 2. So to solve this question, I think the uh, easiest way to take uh, the smallest number is to use heap. So in Python, uh, heap is uh, usually mean heap, so we can use the heap for this question. And the first of all, uh, we try to um, create uh, all possible pairs with all numbers from numbers 1 and the first number uh, from numbers 2. And uh, so like a 1 and 2 and a 7 and 2 and 11 and 2. So this is a uh, um, data we should put in uh, into heap. So first number is uh, current numbers one number plus uh, first number numbers two. So like a uh, one plus two and three and seven plus two and nine and eleven plus two and uh, so thirteen something like that. So these numbers are used for uh, sorting the data in heap so uh, one and two combination will be the uh, uh, will be uh, like a root node in heap and uh, second number is um, current numbers one number and the uh, third number is a uh, fixed number in numbers two i mean first number uh, two and then this is a index number for numbers two so I will explain how to use this index number later. So in the end, so we um, may create a one, two pair and a one, seven pair. Oops, not one, seven, <laughs> uh, seven, seven, two pair and an 11, two pair. So total should be three, nine and 13. So uh, next, uh, we take uh, smallest pairs from heap. So that is uh, one, two pairs, right? Uh, so because the total is three. So that's why we take uh, this pair from heap and then put uh, uh, this combination uh, to result variable. And uh, after that, um, if, so we take uh, uh, this number and uh, check the uh, so after that we use uh, this index number so this index number plus one is less than length of numbers two so that means um so we take a one two combination and uh, index zero plus one is one and uh, so one is a uh, less than length of numbers two so in that case, uh, we put the uh, data with this uh, form. And uh, yeah, very similar, but a little bit different. So in this case, uh, so numbers one number is a uh, fixed. So that means in this case, one. So one is a fixed number plus um, numbers two. So numbers two is a uh, zero, right? So that's why i is uh, this number, zero, num zero number. And then plus one is index one, and that is four. Four. So total five. And then, uh, so this is a uh, second number, and one, right? And the uh, current n2 number is four. And then next index number is zero plus one and one. So I put uh, uh, this data into heap. So in this case, um, 
one four pair. I put one four pair, and the total should be five. So now we already took this number, uh, this combination, and I look at the um, data in heap. So which pair is the smallest? Obviously one four, right? So that's why next we take a one four, and then um, we do the same thing, um, like a, um, we put like a five, one, four, one. So that's why uh, we put the one and the four as a result of um, like a combination, one of the result combinations. And then if I plus one, so in this case two, is uh, less than length of nums. The length num of num length of nums two is a uh, three, right? So two is uh, less than three. So that's why in this case we do the same thing. So fixed number is should be one, right? Nums one plus. So in this case, I should be this number. So I one plus one is two, and uh, so this time this is a six. So total seven. And then um, and nums one is one, and uh, nums two, uh, so one plus one, and uh, seven, and then uh, one plus one, and uh, two. So I, so we put uh, this data into heap, like a uh, one, seven, and the total eight. And then um, after that, we, so we take uh, this uh, combination. So we have three data and uh, which uh, pairs are smallest, obviously one seven, right? So that's why we take a one seven and uh, we do the same thing. And uh, I forgot to write down, so this case k equals three. So we take uh, three pairs, like a uh, one two and one four, one seven. So that's why we uh, finish iteration. So that's why we should return like a uh, one two and a uh, one four and a uh, one seven in this case. Yeah, so that is our basic idea to solve this question. So with that being said, let's get into the code. Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, um, create a heap with empty list. And the first of all, as I explained earlier, so I create uh, all possible number, uh, all possible pairs with uh, all numbers from numbers one and the first number from numbers two. So for i in range length of numbers one, and uh, heap two dot heap push and uh, heap and as I explained earlier, so first of all nums one and the current nums one number plus nums two and uh, zero. So this is a first um, number and the uh, second number should be nums one and i and the third number should be num2 and 0 and then uh, index number or num2 and the first of all or 0 and then after that um, initialize the result variable with empty list and the while um, heap is has data and the length of result is less than k so we continue loop and uh, first of all um, ta take a so pop the top data from heap and then we don't use uh, so first number so underscore and then nums one no num one let's say num two and uh, index number equal heap two dot heap pop and uh, heap so less dot append and uh, num1 and uh, num2 and then as I explained earlier if index number parent index number plus one is less than length of nums in that case, we push new data heap q dot dot 
heap push and uh, heap and uh, um, this time um, num one plus nums two and uh, index plus one and the second number should be num one so be careful not nums one num one and uh, nums two so this is a nums two and uh, index plus one and the last number should be index plus one yeah that's it after that just return return result variable yeah so let me submit it sorry i dropped two here so nums two so let me submit again yeah looks good and the time complexity of this solution should be depends on size of k and the size of uh, nums one and uh, nums two so if k is smaller than like a m multiply n so we take uh, like a k log k otherwise we take uh, this time complexity and the space complexity is also uh, depends on size of k versus uh, m multiply n we take a minimum number yeah so that's all i have for you today if you like it please subscribe to the channel hit the like button or leave a comment i'll see you in the next question